but not every game is winnable. You should write that down. Not every game is winnable, and sometimes you have to change the game. Have you ever heard the story of Weird Al Yankovic? Um, I know, I don't know what's Yeah, so, so Weird Al Yankovic, his dad said to him, he said, look, you want to be a musician? You got two years to make it, and if you don't, quit forever. And I thought, man, that is the best advice to give to a kid. It's like, you got two years, go do it as hard as you can. If you can't, you're done. And you can do that. You know, you can buy yourself your year or whatever. And guys, here's the thing. I'm not one for quitting, but sometimes you go into an opportunity and you just can't win. I don't disagree with that. Some games are unwinnable. I was a professional musician, guitar teacher here in Winnipeg. No matter how good I am at guitar teaching, probably won't be 50 grand. Because in that market, you're limited by your time, you're limited by this and that and other things. What do you open a music store? That sucks. What do you do? Open up a guitar school or something? That sucks too. Some opportunities are just shitty. They just don't work. So, you know, if you want to make art, I appreciate that. I think it's awesome. I'm an artist myself. I love making art. But not every game is winnable. You should write that down. Not every game is winnable. And sometimes you have to change the game, okay? For example, making a computer company today in 2019, how stupid is that today? To go <laughs> with Apple and Samsung and Dell. Could you imagine trying to build computers today? You'd be cooked. Imagine making a gasoline-driven car today. How stupid would that be? Stupider than stupid, okay? So the opportunity is different at different times. We're watching uh, at the mansion. These guys all live in the, the mansion that, that I own. Big ass house. It's going to be 6,500 square feet once it's all done. Big ass house. We're watching this series. It's uh, The Men Who Built America. In the 1800s, what was the big opportunity? Railroad. So it was the Vanderbilts and the Carnegies, and it was steel, and it was railroads and bridges. Those guys got super, super, super rich. Okay. And then in the last, let's say, 40 years, what is the what is the opportunity been? Computers, right? It was computers and tech. And then once the computers were built, it became the internet was the opportunity. And then from there, it became the apps, right? Now it's apps and content are the opportunity. What's next? Probably artificial intelligence, probably biotech, stem cells. So there's always a moving opportunity. And here's the thing, real estate is always good, why? It's basic. It, everybody needs a place to live. Everybody needs a place to rent. Even the tech companies need to rent a warehouse for their servers or whatever. Real estate is never changing, never going away. 